Hey everybody, this is Troy with the eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Q4 OS. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Q4 OS. When you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. It is Debian based. And the welcome screen basically states, welcome to Q4 OS, fast and powerful desktop operating system focused on long-term stability, reliability, and classic style user interface. Q4 OS is installed as a very basic and clean desktop environment with minimal software kit. And on top of that, in the welcome box, you've got run desktop profiler, install applications. If you click on install applications, it'll load up your software center. And it'll give you options over here of different things that you can install. Package managers that you have right now, it comes out of the box with Google Chrome. If you want to go down here and install Chromium or Firefox, you can do that. There's Mozilla Thunderbird, Look Switcher. There's several different things you can pick right out of this initial offering. And then you do have the package manager. But it states right here that the Discover Software Manager isn't installed. Please install it first. Out of the box, you're going to have to install the package manager. So. That's good information to have. Then you've got proprietary codecs. And when you click on the button, it automatically just says it's downloading them. And boy, does that look like a Windows install box. But anyway, I'm going to cancel that. Turn on desktop effects. To find out how to configure or activate the effect, look at the effects below. Or you can get new desktop effects. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to add those. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Switch to kickoff start menu and set auto login. You also have more options right here. If you click on those, set up screen scaling, hardware info, documents online, and donate to Q4 OS. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that and zip on over to their website. Their website, if you want to know more about them or read about them, it's q4os.org. Just says, welcome to Q4 OS. It says, lean and fast, thanks to unique Q4 OS tools. A user can rather easily achieve setup of a fitted system, eliminating superfluous components and applications. And it's rock stable because it's based on Debian and it's in KDE. So you've got visual themes and obviously you can download the look switcher. You have the Trinity desktop option, which is a lightweight, fast, efficient, and it surpasses the competition. And you got a dual desktop ready. All you got to do is add a, another display and obviously you have no problem there. Windows installer, an exclusive way to put Linux alongside Windows. Just run a setup wizard from within Windows and install Q4 OS as easily as any other application. Although installed within Windows, Q4 OS kernel can take full control of the hardware. And in addition to the above and what to expect from a regular Debian system, Q4 OS has got other interesting features. Native Q4 OS utilities, such as desktop profiler and the software center and installers for third-party applications. That's just a quick look at their website. That's the home. You've got your downloads, of course, documents, business, and developers. And then if you want to donate or zip on over to their Patreon or look at the forum news shop or contact them, that's all right there. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. And this, like they said, is very limited. When I went in a while ago, I'm going to go ahead and switch this up. You get Google Chrome. Dolphin is your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. If you're familiar with KDE, you're familiar with Dolphin. You got your usual suspects over here. These are movable, so if you want to rearrange these, you can. You just grab and drop. Move them to where you want to. If you've got things listed here you don't want listed here, just right-click on it, click hide, and it disappears. Gives you more room. If you want to make these icons bigger, all you do is right-click in this open area down here. Go to icon size and pick a different size. You've got small, medium, large, and huge. I'm going to go with large, and that makes it a little bigger so you can see it a little better. So let's close back out of that. On your panel down here, you got show desktop, date and time, obviously. Your hidden icons, notifications, clipboard, KDE Connect. This is very important. If you have an Android device, you can download the KDE Connect application on your Android device, sync it up with your KDE system. And that way, when you get phone calls or text messages on your Android phone, you can get notifications right here on your desktop. You got internet, you got USB, battery power, and of course, volume. Now, if you want to adjust the size of your panel down here, all you got to do is right click. 
click on edit panel. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. I'll just leave it there. Now, if you want to add widgets, click over here on add widgets. You'll get a list of widgets that pop up over here. And I've went over this before, but if you've never seen the KDE desktop environment, you just pick one you want, drag it to where you want it, and then you can go from there. And let's come back down here. We've already looked at our favorites. Let's go to application, internet. You've got Google Chrome. You've got Conqueror, which is the KDE web browser. Then you've got Office. You've got QPDF view, settings, Kavanta manager system settings. Then you've got your system, which is going to have Dolphin, Info Center, console. Let's go ahead and open up console and let's see if it has HTOP installed so we can see what kind of resources we're using. And it does have HTOP installed. On this machine, I have it issued three gigabytes of RAM and four CPUs. At present, at rest, with just the console will open, you're using less than 5% of your CPUs and your memory. You're using about 912 megabytes of the three gigabytes I have issued, which is pretty good. So let's close back out of that. Go back up to application system, Q4 OS software center, which we have to install. And then let's go back. And then utilities, emoji selector, KFine, KMag, Spectacle, Sweeper. Let's go to system settings and seeing how it is KDE. You know you're going to have a plethora of different ways to customize it. You've got the global theme right off the bat. It's got a Win XP concept or a Win 10 OS. And I'm not really sure which one we're using right now. Let's apply the Win concept XP. So that changes everything up to look like a Windows XP computer. You've got a Win 10. Let's go ahead and apply that, which gives you more of the Windows 10 look and feel. I'm going to go back Breeze Dark. Let's apply that. Not big on the whole window look. But if that's something you like, Q4 OS has it out of the box. And then, of course, if you want new global themes, you can just go down here and click Get New Global Themes. And it'll open up the window. You can go down here at the bottom and select highest rated. There's a network error, just like with the weather widget. So we're not going to fight with that. Then you got plasma style, application style, colors, fonts, icons, cursors, workspace behavior. It's got your typical KDE settings that you can adjust on. So let's close out of that. So if you're looking for an operating system that's really bare bones, based on Debian, KDE desktop environment, and you can just pretty much build your app library the way you want to, Q4 OS is something worth taking a look at. Plus, you can run it inside Windows as an app. How does that work? Let's take a look. Let's open up Google Chrome. Q4 OS Windows Setup gives you a play-by-play -play right here. Q4OS.org just says you need to download the setup executable, and it installs the operating system as if it were an application. So you can run Q4 OS right inside of Windows as an application. Pretty interesting. That's something else if you're interested in, you can go look at. So is Q4 OS something you would download, throw on a USB, or put into a virtual machine? Tell me your opinion down below in the comments. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.